I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Sivim here, welcome back to another Team of the Week predictions. Uh, I've been doing these a lot on the Tuesday, so we don't have to wait too long to find out, because there's no rush to get this out, is there, let's be honest. Uh, I'm going to start things off with Frey. Now, I won't tell you what Team of the Week this is from until the end, uh, so that we can go through a few options together. Frey is actually the first of four players that should have been mentioned, but the first three are not in the game anymore. Moving on to... Uh, I, Wolf, Wolfly? Wolfly? No, no idea. Goalkeeper for young boys uh, doesn't look very good. To be honest, uh, I'm going to get this out there straight away. There are only really two or three desirable cards in the entire team of the week. So, yeah. Well, maybe yeah, three, potentially four. Uh, McNulty might be one of them, actually, if you're a Hibs fan. Uh, up from, an, I think, 70, 78, maybe, rated card. Decent uh, looking pace and, and shooting in there as well. Uh, we've got... Uh, Duck, Ducksh of uh, Hanover, no idea. Quite a lot of strikers in this week's Team of the Week, actually. I've just noticed that. Um, not the best-looking card in the world, and three overall ratings lower than what he was in the FIFA that I've chosen this Team of the Week from. Simeone of Cagliari up next. Again, not a great-looking card. I would imagine maybe his shooting would be a little bit better than that. Um, maybe 81, 82, but either way, still not a tremendously desirable player. Especially at this stage of the game, you know, this is why Team of the Week needs to be boosted a lot more than what it is. Morrison of Cardiff is in here, and, and this guy, again, decent defensive stats, um, maybe a little bit low on the physical, uh, but his pace is just makes him unusable, right? Uh, let's move on to Almiron of Newcastle. Now, this is a, our first usable card. Decent dribbling, very good pace, decent shooting, decent passing. And for you Newcastle fans out there, this could be a pretty decent card, to be fair. Uh, nothing too expensive. I think it'd be super cheap, especially with team of the season, but definitely semi-usable. Tadic, uh, formerly of Southampton from the team of the week that I'm choosing this from, uh, but now, of course, of Ajax. I've just gone with this team of the uh, nominee card and use that but boosted I think the pace and the dribbling by one each because I believe that's how they do it uh, let's move on to Carlos Baca a player that I honestly didn't think was still in the game that's how um unmemorable his season has been I don't know whether he's been doing very well for Villarreal or even played I'm, I'm not sure but I've not really seen anything from him this year uh, 83 rated card doesn't look great Pavlenka uh, this is like one of those goalkeepers that I think will just be very, very cheap. And unless you're a Werder Bremen fan, uh, you, you won't really care too much about him. But still, you know, if you are, then happy days. Quadrado already has an 85 rated right back card. It's a UCL card. He was a right back from this particular FIFA. So he would be a right back again. And I've bumped him to an 86. I'm not sure whether they would just re-release the 85. I'm hoping they'd have a little bit more ambition and give us at least an 86. But there we are. From one Juve player to another, we've got De Ligt. Of course, he wasn't a Juventus player when this Team of the Week card was issued first time round. He has a ones to watch as well. So he would be an 89 rated centre-back. Not bad. Not very often that uh, ones to watch cards get used, to be fair. They normally pick them and then they, they're sort of cursed. But Delict has had a, a fair few. Dante uh, up next. Could be better if uh, he had, I don't know, 30 more pace. And even then, many would say that he's still too slow. But still, um, 84 rated. If you're a Nice fan, maybe you get on with this, maybe you don't. Our first big player, and that is the headliner, Alex Tellers. Of course, his inform would be impacts, not the headliner. But if you have the headliner, you'll be happy about this, I'm sure. I'm not sure whether... Like, this is the only uh, card in the entire team of the week that I think is also up for a team of the season, right? So take you with a pinch of salt. Pereiro, formerly of PSV, I believe now he plays for Cagliari, correct me if I'm wrong. If I got that wrong, by the way, and he does still play for PSV, I do apologise, but still, let's be honest, that ain't a great card. Let's move on very swiftly to Adrissa Gate. Now, this is the same rating as his shapeshifter. The reason I've done that is because his shapeshifter is a centre-back, this is a CDM, so I can't imagine EA will go one above and give him an 88. They'll just replicate what they already have. For no reason, for no good reason, but that's what EA do. Pettersson up next, and at this point in the video, you're probably expecting some 85-plus rated player with some really nice stats. 
And unfortunately, here we are with Pettersson. Well, in the previous FIFA that I'm talking about, this car would have been 86 rated, if not going on 87. So there we are. Edin Dzeko already has a better car than this uh, available to buy. Wait, wait, was he available to buy? Or was it um, an objective? Can't remember. Either way, he's got a screen card. It's better than this. In other words, do you really care about this card? Probably not. Kramaric, 85 rated in the FIFA in question. He was 87. If they followed the upgrade path, we'd have a much better team of the week. But it is what it is. Doesn't look like a, a terrible card in terms of dribbling finishing. But in terms of pace... Passing and physical, not so much. And finally, I did say earlier that Alex Tellez would probably be the only player to get a team of the season, but obviously Fernandez probably will as well. And uh, he, he's he got a, a, a massive set of cards. I mean, player of the month cards, winter refresh cards, I just don't know what rating they'll go for. I've been super conservative and gone 89, but I genuinely, I, I just don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. Could be 92, could be 89. I really don't know. But that's it. Like, that's not a great team of the week by any stretch of the imagination. And we're going to look at it here. I'll make it a little bit bigger so that we can see it a bit clearer. But this is Team of the Week 33 from FIFA 18. Now, there are other options, and I, and I will show you those. But the reason I've gone with this Team of the Week is because it limits the amount of players that could be chosen for future Team of the Seasons whether it be for the upcoming most consistent and whether it be for the leagues that precede that. And of course, there are going to be sub leagues released like EFL, Turkish League and so on. So what I wanted to do was limit the amount of cards that will be used more than once. So Bruno Fernandes, for example, team of the season, Alex Telles, team of the season. They're the only two in the entire team of the week, in my opinion, at least, that would be chosen for team of the season, right? Now, if you go with probably the most popular suggestion that people seem to be coming up with, which is this one, Bruno Fernandes is still in it, right? But Kimmich, going to get a team of the season, plus he has a player moments card. Alejandro Gomez, going to get a team of the season, I would have thought at least, and also has a relatively high rated UCL life card. Eden Hazard isn't going to get a team of the season. If he does, then there's something wrong with the world of football but if he does get a team of the season uh, sorry he's not going to get a team of the season however he has a 95 rated card already in the game he has a foot birthday card in the game why do we need another inform timo werner has crazy amounts of cards this inform wouldn't be higher than those player of the month cards because that's how informs work and he's going to get a team of the season which is probably going to be 95 rated in like two weeks so what's the point uh, in terms of other players in there that might get team of the seasons, I'm not sure there are any, to be honest. I don't know about, I don't know who Fernando even plays for anymore, but I'm not sure about any of these people maybe getting um, in forms. Uh, maybe Tyson, I don't know. Cordoba, of course, had a foot birthday card like two weeks ago, less than that maybe. So is that a thing? You know, there's a lot of, like Lala, player moments card. Julian Brandt's got a one to watch, which is cool. But that's pretty much the only card in the entire thing that you could say, right, well, yeah, that team of the week could happen because Brandt's ones to watch. It's a good set. I would prefer this set. I mean, red picks would be so much better for people and opening packs would be so much better if we had these type of cards in there as well as the team of the season cards. However, it just doesn't make any sense for EA to do this. So that's why I've gone against it. Uh, FIFA 17 team of the weeks. I couldn't really find one that made any sense. We had team of the week 32 week just gone of course with Messi and Benucci and so on um would they really go for team of the week 33 Diego Costa yeah sure but again who cares because he has a flashback card you've got Florian Tovan who's been given a player moments card James Rodriguez he's got a screen card but still fair enough does he have a screen card no I don't think does he I can't remember and then Koulibaly's only been recently given a, a team of the week card and Eto isn't in the game. There's a few other players here or there that aren't in the game. Is Cahill still in the game? I don't think he is. So, yeah. Um, this one, again, they won't do this because De Bruyne wasn't that long ago. Plus, he's going get to get a team of the season in like a week. So, again, not really any point. That's the problem. And, and this one was another one that people were, were pointing out as well, which really, I don't know, it's a strange one, right? Because I don't think Jonas is in the game. Dirk Kout isn't in the game. Robin is retired, obviously. Um, it, there's just an awful lot of 
like Kramaric is there, which is it's just mad how you go through like previous FIFAs and you're picking out these team of the weeks and all of a sudden it's like, oh, Kramaric is there, even though he's in the one I've already gone with. It's like Benteke last week. Lucas has been given one recently. So again, it's just a lot of question marks. And that's why I went with the FIFA 18. I just think that is the most logical team of the team of the, the week that they could give. I have gone through a few of the cards that could potentially be chosen from the most popular um, choice that people seem to be picking out, which is the FIFA 19 Team of the Week 34. Of course, you've got Brandt there, 86 rated ones to watch. And uh, we'll move on to what Kenny Lala would be, of course, an 84 rated card. He does have an 88 rated player moments card, though. So, the, I mean, I'm not saying EA won't do it because of that card, but... EA shouldn't do it because he has a much better card. If you haven't got it, then fair enough. But still, um, Alejandro Gomez, 88 rated. This is basically the same or one less than his UCL Live because his UCL Live is 89. So again, if you did that, let's be honest, nobody did that. I did, but nobody else did. Um, yeah, if you if you did, if you are one of the 1%, then you don't care about that. Kimmich has a player moments card, which I think, is that 90 rated? It's a CDM, so there is a difference of position there. But still, he's going to get a team of the season card, let's be honest with each other. So what's the point? Timo Werner uh, would probably be 89 rated because it would go in line with the first player of the month card that he had, I think, or the second. Uh, but either way, he's going to get a team of the season card. So again, what is the point? And finally, of course, Eden Hazard, who won't get a team of the season card, however, has two cards better than this already. Player of the month. Wait, not player of the month. Player moments. There's so many different card types. Player moments, who is available in the game until the end of the game. A foot birthday card with improved um, weak foot skill move. And of course, uh, a couple of informers besides that as well. With 92 rated inform, I think he has. So I just don't see the point in another Eden Hazard card. And a lot of those cards will already be in line for, uh, for Team of the Season cards. So there we go. That's my logic behind it. I've gone with Team of the Week 33 from FIFA 18. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. I don't think it's particularly very good. I'd be interested in maybe Quadrado, just for laughs. Um, Bruno Fernandes would be quite nice. And Alex Tellez looks like a really good card. I think Adrissa Gay in that position actually could be very good as well. But apart from those select few, doesn't look amazing. But still, we have Team of the Season to look forward to, so... Let's not dwell on it too much. If you have enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.